Hi everyone, it's Tiffany. I am back in The Sims 4 with our 100 Horses Challenge. It's still just so rainy. It's been quite a rainy season, honestly. So hopefully we'll be seeing a break in that soon. But I still have them out working. We have, oh, who is that? That's our ranch hand. We have Hadley out here with Arctic training on the barrels because we still at, are still at level 7 agility with Arctic. Um, we have two more levels to go. However, again, no rush because we did decide that Arctic is going to stay for a little bit longer just so we can win some master championships for Hadley and for Teresa. Now, the other two we have, Daisy and Earth, they're kind of newer, I guess. So we still have a lot to work on with them, but they don't need endurance, right? We're gonna double check. Yeah, they both have level 10 endurance because that's one of the easiest and one of my favorite things to practice for. <laughs> So uh, Earth has won a gold medal, so we're good on that. But Daisy has not yet won a gold medal. We're still at two silvers for her. And then we have the baby's feather and Goldie, which we can work with them in time. Now, we also have a space in our household. There are three things we could do. Oh, hold on. Uh, fix horse barrels. We could... Did I say three things? There are two things we can do. Um, we can, A, get a pine to move in with us and we'd have three sims we'd have less space for horses but i feel like since we had an extra sim we would be able to work on horses a lot more second option would be to just get a new bait which we can do i'm not sure what i want to do i have been hesitant with asking pine to move in because we already have a really small house they haven't been together all that long and <sighs> We just like, that's a valuable space in the, the household. You know what I mean? So, but it is one more person we can control. And then we could have like three people doing endurance training at the same time kind of thing, which is quite amazing. And then we can have three people helping with uh, competitions and, and just, just things in general. But I'm thinking maybe we just go ahead and buy a new baby. And then we kind of revisit that idea a little bit later on, especially when Earth and Daisy move out. I don't think today's the day we're going to, like right now, this minute, like this Sim Thursday is not the day we're going to get a new baby just because it is such a rainy day. It's dreary. Like, what are we going to do? Everybody gets so upset when we go outside and it's just not great. I kind of do want to check the forecast. <laughs> um, so it looks like, Pretty sunny until Wednesday. So a week from now is when we're going to see more rain. So that's actually really good. That's really good. I am very happy with that. It is 3 p.m. We are fully like in good health. We have no hunger needs. We have no bathroom needs. We have no shower needs. Well, maybe a little bathroom. I am almost thinking that we bring like Hadley outside and then just have her come in here with Feather or something. And then we can work on some of the baby stuff. Yep. And oh, what, what's that? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I think she's just scared. Oh gosh, where are we going? Okay, so I'm gonna have her ask Feather to come. No, no, no. Gosh dang it. Oh my gosh. Sure. Ah, what's happening? Wait for pet. I need you to go here and then we ask Feather to come in. There we go. Feather. Feather. Perfect. All right. So we're going to just talk to her and scratch her neck and bottle feed and all of that. And then Teresa, I'm actually going to have come outside just to get some of the horses on their training rounds here. So we'll do practice barrels. That's going to be Arctic. We're going to fix this horse jump. And we'll get uh, Earth and Daisy on these jumps. So, let's come back here. Gotta make sure we're queued up. Let's get the stable gossip, etc. Um, you didn't fix this. Can you, can you, can you stop running inside and fix? Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, can you actually ask Earth to come and uh, do that? Feather's now at level 8 temperament skill. That's great. Great news. Let's go back to Hadley. I think, like, doing this stuff when it's raining is very beneficial. All right. Tell joke, whisper to, and then I'll have Teresa come in here. And as long as we're inside and undercover, we should be pretty 
good. All right, I'm going to have her call Feather over. All right, so she can work with Feather a little bit. We'll talk to, tell a joke, rub neck, rub neck, hug, um, etc. And you are the same. You're going to do all of the same stuff here. All right, and hopefully we'll be able to make some major progress. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I don't know what levels they're at right now, if I'm quite honest. So we're just we're just winging it at this point. All right, let's go back to talk to, tell the joke, rub neck. Okay, it looks like Goldie's out. She dipped out. She's like, nah. Um, unfortunately, well, actually, it's not raining anymore. Okay, we're good. I was gonna say, um, Goldie was like, hey guys, uh, we don't need to be in here anymore. It's kind of not raining anymore. <laughs> Thank you, Goldie. <laughs> wouldn't have wouldn't have even noticed. It's gonna be sunny i think from here on out hopefully all right let me check to see where feather is at feather is at eight and goldie is at four so four uh goldie needs a lot more work of course of course uh let's not give up here let's scratch neck and uh scratch neck some more and then let's check on everybody else out here all right it looks like the barrels need fixing and we can get I almost caught our asparagus. What am I even saying? Arctic. We had Arctic back on the barrels. And that's good. It looked broken for a second there. Get Arctic back on the barrels. We're going to keep up here with Goldie. And Earth reached level 5 of the jumping skill. Look at us go. We are we're doing so good. Um, we'll take care of Feather a little bit here. Hug and brush coat. Give her some scritches. And back to you, Goldie. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. It is getting to be later, so we'll have to go to bed. Uh, let's maybe stay up a little a little later, though. Scratch neck. It feels like... Uh, I almost said forest. Uh, feathers thing isn't going up very fast. Or at all, really. But maybe that's just me. It probably is, right? Because she just did reach level 8. Alright, so I'm going to send Teresa to sleep, and I'm going to send Hadley to sleep right after this. Alright, and then we'll be fully rested for tomorrow, where we're going to go into town first thing. We're going to get Arctic in on her next competition. Same with Daisy. We still need to get Daisy for a gold medal. We also need to take pictures. Keep forgetting about pictures. Um, we're gonna wait till it's the daytime, of course, to take pictures. I think she still has her camera, right? It's in here somewhere. Also, I kind of want to sell these silver medals, but yeah, we need to take pictures of all of the horses that we have actually right now. Not the foals yet. I've been taking pictures of them when they're adults, so we need to do that, especially before we sell any. But we're not about to sell any anyway. We're still good. Oh, we're outside now. I think we're good. Okay, let's see. Um. What do we do? Should we... I guess we need to direct to work. So direct to race the barrels. We'll do Arctic. And for this jump, we'll go ahead and do Daisy. And then this jump needs fixing. So I'll send Teresa. Fix horse jumps, Teresa. Come on now. And then you can stop by and say hey to Feather. Yay. And Teresa, you need to call, I think, Earth? Earth over to do jumps. Yay! And then Goldie. Goldie wants your attention. <laughs> of course. Goldie, so pretty. Alright. Oh, and Goldie is almost at that next level. That's amazing. Let's uh, keep that momentum going here. Whisper. Rub neck. Okay, Arctic is now at agility level 9. So one more level for Arctic. So cool. And that's the last skill that she needed to work on. But of course, she has some master championships to win. So it is 1 a.m. We're not quite there yet uh, in terms of like what time we should go to the arena. I'm going to have her fix all of those. And maybe, maybe we go ahead and mount. Uh, why is it cactus? Uh, oh my gosh, Arctic. This is why I can't, I can't do names. I cannot. All right, let's go back here to Teresa, and we will hang out with the baby, little Goldie here. 
I'd like to get Goldie kind of like at the same level as Feather, kind of like Earth and Daisy have been somewhat at the same level, like the same type of training at the same time kind of deal. I don't know, I kind of like the pairs being together like that. So what are we looking at now? Uh, it is 5 a.m. So we're about we're about there. We're about where we need to be and I'm going to check to see yeah, all the horse jumps are good. We do need to fix the barrels. I think she should be able to fix them pretty. Oh, that's Teresa. Did I just have Teresa fix the barrels? Like what? Uh, Practice race. We could race the barrels for a little bit here. And then Teresa is kind of just going to do whatever and then we'll be off here in a minute. So let's go ahead and travel. It is still early. I don't think the arena is open yet. We're going to go to Duke's Hall and we're going to take Arctic. We're going to take Daisy. And honestly, we don't need Teresa, but what else is she going to do? We could do both at the same time if we take Teresa with us. All right. So we're going to be moving on, I think, to the, I think, Arctic 1 Intermediate last time. Or advanced, and we're going to do intermediate. I forget now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Enter competition. Yeah, 7 a.m. So I'm going to take you back here, and you're going to intensely train. And then if we could get on Daisy, that would be wonderful. And we can do a little bit of training there with Daisy. So we'll do, uh, we'll come fix the horse jumps, and we'll do some jumping with Daisy. Oop, oop. And we'll intensely train. All right, so we have about 10 minutes until the competition's open. And we're going to do Arctic in the expert. Expert. So we did beginner and intermediate. So we move on to expert here. All right, here we go. That's a 500 Smolian entry fee. It's a lot. All right, so they're going to go to the competition now. Yep. Yeah. So, bye. Are you guys going? Okay, yeah. I was like, uh-oh, I better not have taken my 500 simoleons and just stopped. All right, you're going to go into the competition now, too. And this doesn't seem to be working for us. We keep getting silver. <laughs> what if we did beginner barrel racing instead? I think that might be something that we could ch change up. All right, perfect. Now, I'm actually going to have her come out here and fix these barrels when she's done while we wait for Teresa. All right, so now we just wait. And of course, of course, our one and only wonderful Arctic has placed gold and we entered for 500 and we won 1,500. That's amazing. So we can now participate in the barrel racing master competition. Of course, not today, but uh, that'll be hopefully when we win gold in one, that'll mark that off. It'll be awesome. Okay, so those guys can just hang out for now. Uh, they don't literally don't need to train arctic is good and there's daisy for her gold medal yay congratulations daisy so now we don't need to do that all right now we're gonna travel back home and we'll take oh gosh we gotta remember who we have um let's invite pine over arctic and daisy and Teresa. okay so all of them i'm i'm like getting a little confused as to what we still like which horse still needs what obviously the babies need just care uh i think i'm gonna have her talk to pine for a little bit here apologize i don't know what happened um roman oh no 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 we're not ready to propose <laughs> my gosh i tried to get me there um physical intimacy let's just do a kiss and then i'm gonna have Teresa come over here and then we'll unlock the gate and have her call Daisy and Arctic over. There we go. And then I'm going to lock for all horses. And I'm going to let her go do what she needs to do. It looks like she needs to kick over a trash can. And sometimes, you know, then you just got to kick over a trash can uh, and make yourself feel better. So these two, let's see. Um, talk about cooking. And what else? Uh, hug lovingly. She's like really into talking about cooking right now. Look at her. She's like, yes. I don't even know when the last time she cooked was actually. Um, <laughs> when was that? Anyway, let's uh, have them speak a little bit longer. So cute. I love these two together. So adorable. Like they met when their house almost burnt down. It's such a, such a lovely story. <laughs> not, 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 um something we should all strive for there, but 
let's go ahead and uh, maybe talk to him a little bit more. Express devotion. And I think they are, like, they are boyfriend and girlfriend. Because obviously they are because of the, the, the ability to propose, I think. Can we propose when they're not boyfriend and girlfriend? I don't remember now. Well, anyway. Teresa, I'm going to need you to direct these guys to jump. We're going to do both Daisy. Oh, Luna, what are you doing here? Uh, Daisy and Earth. Let's see, Earth. There we go. And we'll get them to jump. And I mean, she should be working with the babies, honestly. Where's Feather? There's Feather. All right, let's get her to work with Feather for a little bit here. Rub neck. Bottle feed, stable gossip, talk to more stable gossip, and more talking, and more stable gossip. <laughs> All of it. And then we'll let Hadley just hang out with Pine for a while. They got, she likes stable gossiping. Oh, Pine left. Oh well, it's fine. Maybe Hadley can take over with Feather at this point. So we'll go ahead and hug, get stable gossip, hug. Get stable gossip, hug, get stable gossip. <laughs> scratch neck, rub neck, scratch neck. I like it. We're doing good. Doing good. I almost feel like we're out of things to do. Not that we are out of things to do. <laughs> because we are far from being out of things to do. But we just like don't have all of the jumps being occupied right now. Um, the babies are kind of what we need to put into almost. Because like the only, the only real skill right now that the adult horses need us for is i mean no the only skill that the adult horses need us for in general is the endurance and the temperament but we do the temperament when they're little so the endurance when they like ride them around so right now it's kind of like since everybody has already mastered the endurance we're sitting here with these guys practicing jumping on their own which, by the way, they look like they're about to level up in jumping, both of them, soon-ish. Okay. Let's get a little bit more work here with Feather. It's 2.55. So we are going to... Oh, the energy is really good and everything. Let's see about our relationship, or sorry, our friendship with Pine really went up, which is nice. And... I mean, we're doing really good. We're doing really good. I'm going to have Teresa call over, uh, almost said Feather, uh, Goldie, so that they can work together as well. And let's get you to rub neck, rub neck, and talk, and talk, and tell a joke, and all of that stuff. And then you back to like bottle feed and whispering lots of whispering <laughs> and jokes it looks like earth must have broke the jumps so let's get these queued up here and i think in the next episode we'll probably end up okay it just looks like they quit jumping and stuff so i'm gonna direct horse to do all of this um but I was going to say, in the next episode, I think we're definitely going to get a new baby. Maybe? <laughs> Possibly? I should check on Daisy's... Okay, three for agility. <laughs> really pretty bad for agility right now. Um, and eight for jumping. And then Earth is same. So bad for agility, but five for jumping. So... But I think since they're they're like even in those, we're gonna end up have, have end up having a backup on the the barrels. So we are going to want to focus one of them on the barrels here soon, while one focuses on jumping, so that one when one's done with barrels, it can move to jumping. You know, they could just flip. So that'll probably be the better thing to do. But I'm glad we're hopefully done with rain for a little while here and we'll be able to do a lot of stuff and then tomorrow i'm kind of trying to decide if we want to go every day to take arctic to the uh the the what is it called the competition the the arena because you know we're not taking anybody else right now but i may as well since we want to you know do the master competitions we want to get her skilled up and we still want to 
you know, get her to a good home unless we end up keeping her. We probably, she'll probably end up being our championship horse and we'll end up keeping her and it'll be fine. (laughs) Forget Pine moving in. We don't need him. All right. Where are you? Okay. You're with Goldie. So why don't we do a little bit of chatting with Goldie and hugging and all of the good stuff. So now that we're in this place, I think I'm going to like, you know, wrap it up for the day for them and have them go to bed, get food, take a shower, go to the bathroom, and then we'll start again in the new day. I'm going to end this episode here. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.